Hi, my name is Brad Callen, and today I want to introduce you to the world's best keyword research niche finding tool called Niche Finder. Now, there are a lot of keyword research tools on the market, and they all claim to be the best at what they do. But the problem with these other tools are they do way too much. When it comes to keyword research, more is definitely not better. Now, the idea behind keyword research is to quickly find keywords that A, get searched for in Google a considerable amount, and B, have little competition, so these are keywords that are easy to rank highly and quickly get traffic from. I don't know about you, but when I choose a keyword to base a portion of my business around, I don't want to have to wait months or even years to get traffic from that keyword. I want to pick a keyword and then within a few days or even hours start getting traffic to my website from that keyword. It's because of this lack of ability to find these extremely profitable keywords with little competition that we decided to develop our own tool to do this for us. So let me show you how Niche Finder works and how it was designed in a practical way that's going to get you results fast. Now it's not just a bunch of stats and data that don't mean anything other than to flaunt the fact that our software shows a million different things about a keyword. Okay, Niche Finder shows you only the things you need to know in order to find profitable keywords that are guaranteed to get you traffic and increase your business. The first thing you'll do is you'll enter a keyword or website URL at the top generate keywords based on a seed keyword or another website. So I'll go ahead and I'll enter a keyword. Let's start with the keyword fishing. Next I'll go ahead and click the start button here. And while Niche Finder processes I'm going to go ahead and explain some of these columns here. Okay, Niche Finder is going to begin its analysis by returning 50 initial keywords related to the seed keyword that you input here at, at the top. Okay, so let me go through each column and explain what they do. Left hand column is a difficulty column. You're going to see three different images. You're going to see a green, a yellow, and a red image. Okay, each image corresponds directly to how difficult it's going to be to rank in Google for each of these keywords. Okay, within Niche Finder, uh, it's going to analyze the top 10 ranked websites for each keyword. It's going to analyze exactly why those top 10 ranked websites are ranked where they are. And it's going to look at an off-page ranking factors such as page rank and total inbound links. And it's going to look at the on-page ranking factors of each of those top 10 ranked sites. Things such as page titles and on-page text. As well as some other things, but we're not going to go into that in this video. So. What it's going to do then is it's going to go through our proprietary algorithm and it's going to spit out an image here, a green, yellow, or red image. Green indicates the keyword is easy to rank for in Google. Yellow indicates that it's moderately easy. And red indicates that it's very difficult. These are keywords that you don't even want to mess with. For example, bass fishing, extremely difficult to rank for in Google, so you don't even want to try to optimize your website for this keyword. Okay, moving on. You're going to see a difficulty column right here. The, the images here correspond to a difficulty number here. There, there are different ranges. 0 to 30 is going to create a green image on the left. 31 to 75 is going to give you a yellow image. And 75 and above is going to give you a red image. Now you can sort the, the column headings here and sort the difficulty by clicking on the column heading. And what you can do is if there are no green images in the left hand column, you can still see uh, you know, what range each keyword is uh, in the specific range. So for example, this is a 45 difficulty, relatively low on the moderate level because anywhere from 31 to 75 uh, is going to be a moderate, it's going to be a yellow image. This is low on the scale. So the difficulty column helps, helps with that. It tells you where the images are, are located on the scale specifically. Okay, moving on. You're going to see global and local search counts here. These search counts come directly from Google. Now there are a lot of keyword research tools on the market that give you search counts that tell you how many times each keyword is searched, but they pull the data from meta search engines. They don't pull the data directly from Google. So the number you get isn't going to match up with Google. We want to know how many times the keyword is searched for in Google that month because uh, obviously Google is a search engine that everyone uses. So you're going to see global and local. Global is obviously worldwide searches per month. So carp fishing was searched for 201,000 times uh, the previous month. And you're going to see local searches, which is locally in your area how many times this keyword was searched. 18,100 times. 
Alright, for those people that create AdSense style websites, you're going to see a cost per click column here. And this is going to be very, very beneficial because you're going to be able to see how much people are paying via Google AdWords for each of these keywords. So for example, if you created a web page, let me, let me sort this cost per click column. And let's say you created a web page based on the keyword carp fishing. And you had some ads showing up on your site. Okay, AdWords advertisers are paying a cost per click of $1.73 for this keyword. And this is going to give you a good guess on how much per click you're going to get paid uh, you know, on your AdSense style website. So this is a very, very important column for those AdSense publishers. Okay, next you're going to see an AdWords column here. This is an indication of how many people are advertising on Google AdWords for each specific keyword. Okay, so you can get a good indication on uh, you know, how valuable this keyword is to advertisers. So is this keyword making people money? If, if so, there's going to be a lot of AdWords advertisers over here um, you know, paying $1.65 a click to advertise in Google's paid listings for this keyword. So uh, another very, very valuable column. These columns together are very valuable because they're, they're going to give you visitor value for each of the keywords. Very important. And then over here you're going to see a total results column. This is the total number of websites in Google that are competing for the keyword game fish, for example, or carp fishing. If you go to Google and you type in the keyword surrounded by quotes, you're going to get a better indication on how many websites are actually uh, competing for these keywords. So that's what this number is here on the right. Okay, lastly, and this feature is very, very powerful. It's a feature that's not present at this level in any other keyword tool. Okay. You'll see in an instant whether any of these keywords have exact match versions of the .com, .net, or .org domains available. Okay, you're not going to have to individually click on each keyword to find out uh, this data like all the other keyword tools force you to do, which costs you a lot of wasted time and effort. Okay, Niche Finder is going to return all this information uh, all at once for you without clicking your mouse uh, on, on each individual keyword. Okay, now should the exact match domain not exist, if you click on a keyword, you're going to see that Niche Finder also offers suggestions for each of these keywords. Okay, So for example, let's say you like the, the keyword kayaks fishing, and but you wanted the .com version of the domain. It's not available. What you can do is you can click the row, and in the bottom frame here, Niche Finder is going to give you a bunch of other domains that could possibly exist that are related to kayak fishing. So e-kayakfishing .com, .net, and .org, they all exist. And it tells you that it's a density of 92% dense. So of the, the total letters in this word, uh, kayak fishing exists in 92%, so 92% dense. And it gives you a bunch of different uh, ideas for other domain names that are related to that specific keyword. Very, very powerful. Now, also worth noting is that Niche Finder allows the option of also collecting aged and or expired domains for each of the keywords. Okay, very, very powerful. And there are no other keyword research tools that offer this uh, to the extent that Niche Finder does. Okay, we offer a full eight week money back guarantee. So I encourage you to purchase Niche Finder as well as other keyword tools. And I'm certain you'll agree that Niche Finder is gonna help you more with your business than any other keyword tool on the market. Okay, if you disagree, just ask for a refund, and I will gladly refund your money and wish you the best. Now, if you'd like to give Niche Finder a try, completely risk-free, like I said, just click the Add to Cart button on the right, and I look forward to sending you a copy of Niche Finder. Have a great day.